what's happening in YouTube world. Um, just a wee video just to state that um, Monday past I received a telephone call from the Gay Dogs Association. Um, what they have told me now that um, from Monday gone I um, have been successful in being put on to the, the Gay Dog waiting list. So in the next 16 months to 18 months hopefully I shall be paired up with a dog. Um, quite scary, quite apprehensive and um, and a lot of mixed feelings on what's to come in the future here. Um, quite worried that I have to walk and work this dog from the house because um, not very many people know about my condition. They sort of hate it from the world quite a bit. But I think starting to do videos and sort of talk about my uh, retinas pigmentosa a wee bit more to help me and other people who watch these videos a wee bit um, more of an understanding on how my eyesight actually works. Um, currently with my eyesight, uh, I have no vision in my, well, no usual vision in my right eye apart from being um, known if it's light or darkness. Um, it's, there's no vision, I can't see shadows or nothing like that. But my left eye currently, um, I do have central vision, which enables me to get about safely um, during the day um, but no peripheral vision whatsoever um, as many people know um, with peripheral vision um, it also that's the part of vision that you need to have night vision so with no peripheral vision once it becomes the art of darkness sort of renders me incapable of going outside so one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to apply for a gay dog um, because I sort of the, the winter months with no light I sort of tend to head away and not leave the house and mess I'm either with my partner or with trusted friends um, I used to be an outgoing person who loved to used to go out and to bars or have a few beers um, now whenever somebody asks me to go out or um, like family occasions when it involves being out at night time I sort of try and shy away from them um, but those things are sort of something that I have to work on myself. Uh, I really need to sort of step away from the, the feeling of sc being scared, basically. Um, it, I just really need to puck up and sort of do things that sort of work for me. Um, I do go to the gym quite a bit. Um, I sort of have a, a bit of a routine where I get up take my son to school and hit the gym four or five days a week uh, but to me um, that's basically like it keeps me in a routine, keeps me occupied, keeps my head straight um, some might say <laughs> maybe a bit of therapy um, it certainly helped me deal with my diagnosis um, you know, man, beforehand I sort of had a real bad patch of depression, lost my job um, just everything wasn't going right um, but when I found the gym it sort of made me see things not clear but sort of put things into perspective for me um, that it isn't the end of the world that there is help out there I just need to not be ashamed of my eyes and talk to people and not worry about what people think um, but sort of went off topic a wee bit so back to the topic at hand yep I've been put onto the gay dog waiting list. Um, when I first got the call, I was a wee bit freaked out because I did have to work the dog from home. Um, but obviously, as time goes on, I'm being a bit more upbeat about it, a bit more optimistic on the benefits that it's going to provide me and my family and the amount of independence it's going to give me. Um, so, all in all, it's been a bit of a roller coaster a few weeks. I'm um, going out and doing a bit of training and a bit of role play in regards to um, seeing whether or not my eyesight is bad enough to apply for the dog but e even if it did or it didn't um, I still have to get on my life and it's a matter of things progress you know I just sort of have to adapt and overcome um, every sort of hardship Every everybody goes through their own 
type of film. This is everybody has their own problems. It's just just mine, and it's just the, the obstacles and things that I have to deal with my own life. So yeah, no, definitely feel not beat about it. Um, if you have any questions about RP, um, just leave a wee comment below. Uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks YouTube, all the best.